I want to see your face. Actually, we should turn the camera around so I can see your face. <laughs> that? That's what you want? No shit. <laughs> Alex, tell him what's on there. Beautifully cast signed by all major, all the major characters. So it has Marty, Doc, Biff, Claudia, and Jennifer. All of them, all of them, the, literally the main cast. Dude, you really shouldn't have, bro. <laughs> 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 All the main cast members <laughs> and it's triple certified. Damn. <laughs> yeah, look, triple certified. Yeah, it's Beckett, Fanatics, and JSA. All, all with letters. Okay, I approve. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the people at home what's going on. <laughs> so yeah, we, we're, we're, where are we heading? We're heading to Orlando? You're, you're facing the back of your head. I don't know where it's going. <laughs> we're heading to Orlando for a show this weekend. And before I even got out of the car, I spent got a chunk of change. Oh, you spent two hours in the car with him. Yeah. And hey, that's always fun. He hustled him. Nah, no, <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> that's a dope piece, though. Look, you want to see? Look at, look at Yoda. That's Yoda? That's Yoda. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I got a couple others, too. It's a big boy piece right there. <laughs> For real. Yep. Yeah, you, you don't even want to see what he showed me in the car. Oh, yeah. oh, we'll see you tomorrow. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah Not yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah tomorrow. I forgot to see you Saturday. This guy, he pulls out like grails out of his pockets. <laughs> like, hey, hey, look at this rare Bolivian stormtrooper. <laughs> made, made in three days, only three days in manufacturing. Yeah. Come on, let's go get your stuff. All right, so we're here in my storage unit. We're going to a show in Orlando. It's a Star Wars show. It's a one day show. It's on Sunday, just tomorrow. This should, this should make a couple bowls of cereal. Couple. <laughs> I didn't have breakfast this morning. You need, you need frosted flakes for the year? Trade, do you, you have any more of Back to the Future? <laughs> yeah. Trade. Yeah. I actually do. <laughs> How, How much? much? Future How much? <laughs> <laughs> Not buying it. <laughs> I mean, we've been here twice. It's cut your eyes both times. So. Yeah, right? I think it's... <laughs> you get better each time. We're here at the Lakeland Antique Mall. I was on our way to Orlando, so we decided to stop. Last time we were here, we had a blast. So much cool stuff to look at. So, and I know we didn't see everything the first time. So we're back. There's something here I want to pick up for my wife for Christmas. Can't show it to you on camera because she might watch this video and it'll spoil the surprise. I gotta find out the price though. You couldn't see the price on that? I'll be back. For those of you that are new to the channel or you just didn't watch the video where we came to this antique mall, they have a lot of, how would you call it? Like Disney's props. retired Mark items. Mark. So props, even rides, stuff from the hotel rooms. I mean, you can find a lot of Disney memorabilia here and Universal, for example. These are nightstands from one of the hotel rooms that they've retired. And now you could buy it here. It's pretty dope. And here they have some arcades from Halloween Horror Nights. That's universal. So as you can see, a little bit of everything from all around Orlando. Some of this stuff is pretty pretty. These things are actually really great. 150 bucks for these barrels. I'm surprised. That one's 125? So they vary in price. It's not bad. This little guy is 80 bucks. Rotisserie chickens. <laughs> Never ends. <laughs> That's what it is. It says rotisserie Jurassic Park. Rotisserie chicken. <laughs> That's not chicken you're eating, it's dinosaur. That's pretty fun. <laughs> I got the sign from Fast and the Furious. 200 bucks for that sign. But I really like these. Huh. Especially if you collect the NECA figures. The colors on this are dope. Perfect sign. You taking it? How much is it? <laughs> oh, you know what I just noticed? Michael Jackson. Alright, back to my sign. How much is this? I don't want to move it. Beetlejuice. 
which is this little one? Okay, this one's 45. So I'm assuming that one's gonna be close to 100. It's massive compared to this. <laughs> That's a nice sign as well. Jurassic World. I like it, but it's $300. They had a Michael Jackson zombie with the Thriller outfit and they sold it $10,000. It was here last time we were here. It was right there. And it's gone. Goes to show you, some of this stuff might be pricey to us, but there's someone out there willing to pay it. Mm -hmm. Like these things. I want these things. Last time I was here, I said I wanted to get them and make one of them a doghouse. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, check that out. These things are cool, <laughs> especially this one. It'll be a dope little doghouse. But the problem is, it's twenty thousand dollars for the set. Which one do I go with? This will fit in my collection, I think, a little cooler. I don't know, dude. It's kind of cool. Go with the Star Wars one. It says Disney on it. Disney Cruise Line. Yeah, because it says this is what they hung You like that because it's Disney. Yeah, it well, says Disney. That's Star Wars. That's Star Wars? Day at Sea. Hmm? That's pretty Come cool. on. All right, I think I'm going to go Star, Star Wars? Wars Ocean? Come on, yo. You're, 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 huh? you're not helping me. Like you're Darth Vader meets Aquaman. You're supposed to say get both. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Look at that. A singing balloon, dude. There you go, bro. Merry Chrysler. Merry Chrysler. Is it reusable? <laughs> no. <laughs> I need to keep this for my birthday every year. A little bit of Miami, Lakeland. <laughs> I'm just looking at the cast uniforms. What the cool one? These are the ones that were at the park, all the employees. Well, these are obviously retired. I think, are we filming a video where you're sneaking into the park as an employee? Is that what we're looking <laughs> at? Hey, <laughs> I like this. <laughs> the actual security jacket. Yo, you can definitely walk straight in with this thing, dude. Stainless steel water resistant, you know? Humpty found the cast watches. So all the employees wear, I guess. You getting one? I'm gonna count. I'm gonna get one. Dude. You getting one? Yeah. We're gonna right. leave one here for some lucky person. I guess I'm getting one too. <laughs> you said it comes with a battery. Where's the battery for this one? It's on the lid. It's on the lid. It it's on the bottom right there. Keep my lid. Noise. They're all the same, right? Oh, oh my god, bro. Okay. We saw that. Help me out here. Oh, never mind. I just want to see the condition of this one. I think this one's better. So now we all have Disney, official Disney watches. <laughs> so when we go to the parks, members now. we all gotta wear them together. Yeah. It's a club. And I'm gonna and you guys are not in it. I'm gonna you get don't have a watch. security jacket too, so I make it <laughs> real official. What? I'm gonna buy the security jacket right here so it's real official. He's, the... he's buying security jackets, he's buying the cast clothing. I'm telling you, they're trying to break into the park. If <laughs> any Disney employees watch this channel, I have nothing to do. I'm just buying a watch. <laughs> no, what are we talking about here? Batman. It's gone through some hard times. <laughs> like, I know the economy's not doing so great, but damn. <laughs> oh, Batman's looking a little rough there. <laughs> Even his money's drying up, I guess. <laughs> Is that the new helmet that sold dragons with? Yes. Dude, you will sell so many more dragons with that on. <laughs> You'll draw all the That's my thumbnail out. right there. Oh, <laughs> oh, why do I always do that? <laughs> so dusty. I was about to fly to Toy Department to buy one of those. What are these? Uh, they have the goofiest dark, uh, dark mall. I love amazing. those. The large ones were really limited. I believe there was only a hundred of each one made. I believe. It's 750. Hard. That's not bad. Toy Department doesn't want to ship it to me. I want that Mickey. Oh, that Mickey's cool. That Mickey is awesome, bro. That is dope. I think it actually lights up too, if I'm remembering correctly. A little saber. I want all of those, bro. There's a, that, that was a series. They did, they, that's the yeah, launch they did scale. Donald Duck. And then they did, yeah, Donald Duck was 
uh, um, Han Solo and Carbonite is what it was. Yes. Jeff had Jeff that had one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then Mickey was was um, uh, Obi Wan. They also had a um, Goofy was, I believe, Darth Maul. Darth Maul, that's the one. I was Pluto was a stormtrooper, I think. And then uh, and uh, Minnie was Leia, yeah. or yeah, whatever, something like that. Yeah, there was a whole series of them, but the, that's the best. Uh, to me, that one and Darth Maul are the two best stormtroopers. I'll be happy with that's just that one. one. That one's awesome. Right all right, you guys, we are done here. Like I said before, we just stopped on the way to Orlando. This was uh, not planned. We gotta go meet up with Jeff. Like I mentioned before, I did film a video here uh, a few months ago. I will link that video at the end of this one, at the end card, so you guys can check it out. We did film a lot more. I wanna come back here one day with time, when I have nothing else to do, and I wanna walk this whole entire store and show you every aisle, because it's just amazing how much they have and it's gonna be a very long video at least two or three parts honestly that's how much stuff is in here well that's I don't know he's lost I think he found some Star Wars figures and we lost them for a little bit Alex is taking us to a store that I've never been to before at least I don't think I have so that's exciting all right, you guys, we just made it to Echo Base Collectibles. I've never been here before. I've been stuck in traffic for like two hours. So it's getting late. Check this out. How cool is that? Lights up. That is sick. <laughs> we just walked in and I'm already in love with this place. I love seeing stuff like, like check this out. Vintage case. All right. How do I see the rest? Bam! Rotisserie vintage collection. <laughs> How dope is that? Check out this bear brick. I'm not big into bear bricks. I like them. But then again, anything Ghostbusters, I kind of like. Oh, I found the Star Wars section. Let's see what they got. I'm in the mood to buy some ships. <laughs> that is dope. Thank you. You need that. I do need that. Alex needs him more. That's 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 Alex Ali. I wonder how much that is. I know it's a lot. In New York oh. it was a lot. It was like more than more than a lot. More than a lot. <laughs> Oh, it's not a lot. It's not? It's a little? I don't want to make the same mistake I made in Collecticon. <laughs> where I, I was holding a $20,000 comic, and, I'm like, and I said 20 on it. I, like, oh, I gave him a $20 bill, and he's like... <laughs> is that 180 Yeah. Hmm. It's, it's a replica one. The original is about oh, 8000 Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why we thought it was... Yeah. Yeah, it's a replica. So that's as still cool. That's as close as you're gonna get unless you want to drop 8K on a real one. I actually really want it. I might talk to him. If he does 150, I'll probably take it. Check these out. I don't think I've seen this one before. I could have sworn I had Darth Maul. Why does this look different to me? Let me ask Alex. You know a lot about these. Hey. Did they make more than one Darth Maul? Uh, I, I don't think I've ever seen yeah, this one like that. I, I don't remember that mask. I, I'm pretty sure this is first series because I know the box changed to have the lines for the second series. Okay, so but I probably great. have another one then, right? Yeah, you may. You may. Oh, it's dope. It's been open though, just so you know. No, I don't. I'm just, yeah, I'm just curious. Saying. The mask threw me off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's good, though. That's super cool looking, though. Yo, look at the saber. It's the double-sided sword. Yeah. Hmm. It's pretty dope. This was the exclusive, the exclusive Jabba the Hutt release. 
um, the regular release had like an actual picture here. Yeah, I've had like two or three of those. Yeah, but this, you didn't have this one. No. This one is the, you see how the print is just like the, the standard pencil lining? This is, um, I believe it was a Sears exclusive, if I'm yes, remembering yes. it. What this year was that? Uh, 83. It was the same oh, thing. Oh, yeah, the other one 83 too, right? This one was the one that I believe you had the catalog order from Sears directly. And it came with this image, which is a lot harder to find. How much is that? Uh, he has 220 on it, which is a great price. I mean, and the box is really nice shape. Yeah, it's in great shape. Oh, shit. Humpty. Look what they got. Oh, this is a bad idea. Or something. Humpty. No, I'm not touching that. Get that away from me. <laughs> Should I get another one, one? That's the one ship I will not touch. <laughs> Do you think I'll fit into a medium? I don't think so. I mean... <laughs> sure. It's okay. Just no Put you in the dryer. No <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thinking about buying another one, what do you think? Huh? Don't talk to me about it. I'm not, I'm not picking that out of the truck. You're picking that up. I used to have one of these, but it was loose. It wasn't in box. And all the whatever you want to call it, the weeds on the ship would always fall off and it was always Humpty for some reason that would take it to the shows and drop them everywhere and then he'd have to pick them up so he hates that ship. <laughs> Bad memories. No. <laughs> What's that? Tracy, the entire history of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Literally, from how they were created, the story, the drawings. The molds for all the green. This is pretty cool for a turtle fan. Oh, by the way, Jan's with us now. They haven't seen you yet. Yeah, they have. <laughs> Smash a good beard. Oh, need to take a piggy bank. That's exactly what you need for the house. Yes. Another piggy bank. I've never seen that. Yeah, that was a gentle giant. Uh, I believe San Diego exclusive. No, 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 no. that's not the same. That was celebration. Oh, celebration! That was celebration. Yeah. yeah, there you go. I know it's one of the exclusives, but um, yeah, and it's a it's a recreation of the pit from the Death Star. Right. Cool. Sorry. Yeah, really she cool. wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Yeah, see you guys. All right, you guys. Really cool store. We got here kind of late. They're already closing. Like I said, we spent a lot of time in traffic. You can see it's already at nighttime. We're heading over to Disney Springs to meet up with uh, Jeff and his wife Jocelyn. We're gonna have dinner, hang out, probably continue the hunt. And then we gotta go to bed, but we gotta get up early tomorrow for the show. I know this video is jumping around a lot. It's been a hectic day. I just wanted to show you this real quick. Alex just picked this up from the Coca-Cola store here at Disney Springs. Show them yeah, the they, out the box. Looks like oh, they show, glass. Those are dope. I'm not gonna lie. I like them. Here, look, let me get it out the plastic so you can like. You said I can have the little one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at that. It's all see through. It's supposed to represent an empty Coca Cola bottle. Oh, cool. Look, that is pretty sweet. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty neat. You know what it kind of looks like? Remember those little like balloon animals they would make? Exactly. Yeah. It kind of looks <laughs> like that, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I like the box. Can I have the box? <laughs> no, bro. The box is dope. It's clean. <laughs> like, how much was this? Like 200? It was 200, yeah. 200. They are the new Jones. 200 dollars. All right, I just wanted to show you that real quick. We're about to go eat. I'm starving. And I don't know if we're going to walk around Disney Springs. It's getting late. We're going to be up really early tomorrow. But if we do, I'll show it to you guys. All right, you guys. It's Sunday. We're here at the Star Wars show. I don't think the place is ready yet, so I can't unload anything. Although, Jeff already started. We didn't get any sleep last night, so I'm exhausted. Yeah. All right. Let's get to work. All right, the location's not set up yet. We have no idea where our booth is at, so we gotta wait a little bit. But check this out. I don't know how many of you know this, but I'm really big into lowriders. I used to build lowriders in another life. Jeff just gave me a gift. Check that out. That is so dope. What? Thanks, brother. You got it, man. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, I knew you'd like that. You know me. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning, I'm definitely learning. <laughs> Yeah, that is sick. That's going on my desk as soon as I get home. All right, we're here setting up. This is a Star Wars show. 
it's hard for me to make money here because this is what I like to collect, especially the ships. Speaking of, I already made my first purchase. I don't have this and they gave me a really good deal. I was trying not to spend any money today. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. That was the goal. The show hasn't even opened yet. I'm not even done setting up. Could it stick to that goal? Yeah. Hopefully I can sell them some mythics to make back some of this. Uh, and so I can shop. Trade. Ah, we're trading. Dang it. There's a lot of stuff here that I want. A lot. Like this right there. I'm gonna show you everything. Once, once everybody's set up, if you're a Star Wars fan, stay tuned. All right, update. We're still not open, but I brought Humpty to this booth to show him this. Right? Obviously, dragons, Humpty. But what are you doing instead of getting the dragons? I found the Star Wars ship. Star Wars oh, ship. Yeah, Star Wars. Look. It's massive too, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that is sick. It's massive though. Do, do you have a chewy that goes in it? <laughs> a chewy? <laughs> I'm only trolling. This is beautiful it's work. <laughs> you picking it up? Absolutely. I'm, is this happening? Does that not say my name all over? Yes, it does. See? USS Christmas. Humpty. <laughs> it is pretty dope. Oops. Oh, there we go. I could be the Star Wars guy, you could be the Star Trek guy. No, that's, that's Star Wars. That's, okay. ep that's episode just... four, right? <laughs> so many people are screaming at the screen right now. So many. <laughs> I'm not the only one that bought a Star Wars ship today. Humpty just made a purchase. Oh yeah, what do you get? Look, you can see it from here. It's massive. Yeah. That's Star Trek. <laughs> not according Humpty, to that's him. that's not Star Wars. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh god check out Humpty's new 3D prints he's doing Star Wars skulls this Gamorrean guard this dude is massive I mean look I got pretty big hands that's like double the size of a basketball this thing is sick I don't want to break it. Okay. He did it! He did it! He got it on film too. Uh, I saw him. He walked that way. Look. <laughs> See, this just shows you the quality of his prints. Nothing happened. Huh? Nothing happened. I bought a Star Wars ship. <laughs> and I like that. All right, another update. The show just opened, and he bought another. This is a Star Wars. It's a trade. I made a trade. Oh, he made a trade. I'm from Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> you don't troll in you guys, right? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not that dense. Okay. <laughs> Go give him hate. Follow him on Instagram and give him hate. <laughs> All right, it's time to make some money. Oh, there's a line. It's a good sign. Be back. All right, I wanted to show you the booth before I saw anything else. Pretty much the same setup as the last show I went to. You saw that video. Only a few hot toys today. I don't have a lot of Star Wars left that I want to sell. This piece I just sold. I'm holding it for them so they can walk around. Some helmets. Yeah, a lot of. Uh, oh, we got a Jeff. I show his side. What do you got? What you got? Not a lot. I just bought a little bit. Just a little bit. A little taste. It's only a five hour show, so not too much. He does have this X Wing that I used to have and I sold at Joe Fest, I think, or MegaCon, I forgot. Kind of want it back though, so we might have to talk about the mythics, you know, and some other things. I'm down. I don't know. I need mythics. <laughs> I am on a mythic hunt like no other. The hoverboard up there, that's also mine. And I want to show them this beast you got. I love this. But you see, if I had this, I wouldn't open it. I like the way it looks in the box. It's kind of dark right now. But I don't know. It displays well in that box. I really like it. What? <laughs> oh. hmm? It's a 
thinking of it. Check that out. I think it's massive. I likes it. But he also has this, which is funny because the first time we met, he had, I forgot which one it is, it's the blue box. This is the first thing I ever bought off of him. And that's what led to our friendship. It's the Imperial Shuttle. And then I sold it at a show that he was at. <laughs> so, I don't know, I kind of want that back. I want a lot. This place is, it's not a good place for me to make money. A lot of cool stuff. This booth in front of me, check this out. I mean, he's got this Rancor, 125, I want that. He also has an Imperial Shuttle. He has the Scarlet Pit, which I had and also sold at Mega Connor Joe Fest, I can't remember. Then he has a sand crawler for a really good price. He's asking 75. I've seen this go usually 100, 125 at the shows. I don't know, I kind of want that too. This is pretty dope as well. I've had a few of these, they sell pretty good. That's getting 140 on it. What am I getting that? The booth is getting a little crowded, so I'll show you the rest later. But yeah, there's a lot on this booth that I would like to have. I'm here checking out this last beater. 35 bucks. Clean though. The box is immaculate, which sucks because I want to open it. I want to get a Lance Peter to go with my Razor Crest. You know that scene where he's got, uh, I forget the guy's name, the blue guy from the first episode. They pull up in a Lance Peter. I know it's not the same one, but that'll do. Kind of wanted to uh, build that scene since I have the three and three quarter figures. But it'll suck to open that up because it's so clean. Check out this booth. Filled with vintage. Nobody, Austin will be there, Dewey will be there, yeah. Power Ranger and Mike will be there. I've always wanted this rank court. Here's your chance. <laughs> Here's your chance. I've had a few of these. <laughs> My ET finger? It's so cool. I'm glad you, you told me it was a finger. I was banded on, it was banded it took a on turn. YouTube. It took a turn for YouTube. For everybody at home watching, this is ET's it's finger, bro. ET's e finger. E finger. Look. Okay. This was sold at Toys R Us, okay? This is a legit toy right here, okay? So please don't flag the channel. Don't YouTube, don't suspend me. It's a finger from an alien. <laughs> he buys the weirdest shit. <laughs> I mean, these two together. I mean, look what he's holding right now. <laughs> yeah, look, you just pick that up. You could add ET's finger to the it. Other, <laughs> <laughs> the other, the other, the other Godzilla I had. Uh huh. A lady wanted it for her son, and she forgot. I bought it out yeah, before she got to it. Oh. Uh, so I gave I like it to her. So you just, traded. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I said this could be an extender. Oh yeah. my lord. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys, it's almost the end of the show. I've been standing in front of this booth. He's directly uh, in front of me. The whole day looking at the sand crawler. So, I pulled the trigger. Yeah, He's excited for me. See? <laughs> I pulled the trigger on the sand crawler. Pretty cool. I kind of like it. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. But I figured, you know. I don't know what I was thinking. I got it. <laughs> I bought the sand crawler with a bunch of singles that I had. I got 10 left. I want to get rid of them. So I gotta buy something for 10 bucks. What can I get for 10 bucks? I found another sand crawler. I don't think I can get that for 10 bucks. Though. 80 bucks, man. All yours. 80? 80. 80 bucks. You offered it to that other guy for 50. Why is it 80 for him? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bird. Put you in the spot. I actually just bought a sand crawler. But what can I get? I got 10 singles left. What can I get for 10 bucks? It'll take it all off. <laughs> Yo. 
I'll be back. All right, it wasn't 10 bucks, but I pulled the trigger on the Lance Beater that I saw earlier. I don't know, I like it. I like the colors. I think it'll go good with my Razor Crest. That's why I bought that sand crawler. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. But I'll figure something out. And now Humpty's buying. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, not yet. Not yet. He's buying a set of pistols. No, no, no. I'm just buying. I'm not buying anything. He's buying both of them. He's getting them graded for sixty bucks. Sixty bucks, dude. No. Huh? You put them on display in the booth, and you put dragons around his neck. <laughs> you put Mando's head on him. There you go. <laughs> Custom. You reaching for the wallet? Shut up, man. <laughs> Thank you. Man. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. What happened to them? Nobody. Shut up, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. This is your fault. The other one that said, let's go for a walk before it closes. We both ended up buying stuff we don't need. Actually, I'm kind of happy what about this. this. What's he? Yeah, exactly. What are they going to do with this? <laughs> I'm okay with this, but a 12 inch kiss. Oh shit, you see me? Damn, bro. What the heck? Are you trying to sell my piece? Huh? You trying to sell my piece? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the end of the show. I was trying to make one more quick deal. I did get another X-Wing. Uh, I didn't film it. I forgot whose X-Wing it is, though. Luke, oh, I got Luke's X-Wing. There you go. I think I'm only missing one more, right? The one from Rogue One, I think. I don't even know what I got, to be honest with you. I got two today. I think there's only three. Uh, by the way, not for nothing. Come here. Yo, what Doesn't this look like a golf ball? Why are you wrecking on my sweater, bro? Look, let me turn. I, I got, just the, I got the golf ball shape on. <laughs> it's a nice sweater. I'm not saying looking negative. It's just it's like a golf ball. <laughs> Who was looking to sell? Oh, watch out. Um, yeah, this is the exact set. See, there's one of the players. Yeah, that's the part that goes to the base. You don't have the base by chance, do you? This is what I got. Oh. Is there something missing? No, because they came, like, there was, like, like him. They get, put him in a box, and then they put a base in it. Oh, separately? Yeah. Oh. This is all that's I got. That's all I just saw. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one I have. Look good. It doesn't look like anything's wrong. This is normally the part I was checking. Normally, this would break off. But it looks clean to me. Yeah, you can see everything's stone. Like the poly version. Bring one of these or two? No, that's just one. And then this just sits under him. That's like supposed to be like right here. So it looks like he's sitting on the oh, mat. Oh, right. Honestly, and then the pillow would be like right here. That's where Leia, Leia would sit. Is that for Leia or Salacious Crumb? <laughs> but it's 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 really either one, whatever you pick. And then that is, that's what I was saying, the base. They gave it this in this box, but then the base was missing it. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so everything looks good to you? Yeah. Alright. I'll take it. Okay. Alright, one more <laughs> six skill. <laughs> so end the day. <laughs> no, not. <laughs> Alright, one last purchase before the end of the show. I'm really happy about that because honestly I haven't been able to pick up much for Megacon, which is in March. It sounds like it's far away, but it's only three months. It's gonna be here before we know it. Yeah. This is a nice Megacon piece. So yeah.